guys, it's Eric from B-Side. Today we have here a 2017 to 2020 Lexus IS with factory navigation. It's gonna look a little different than the 2014 to 2016 Lexus IS with factory nav because the screen got a little bit bigger from 2017 to 2020. If you have the factory navigation model, if you have the non-nav model, the screen is still gonna be a little bit smaller. We want to do an upgraded video on this 2017 to 2020 Lexus IS for our S-Connect system. The difference is all the audio is gonna run through the car's Bluetooth, so no more fiddling between CarPlay and the Bluetooth audio source. It makes it an easier system to navigate, more user-friendly. At the same time, right when the phone connects to the S-Connect system, the screen will switch over to the CarPlay or Android Auto screen automatically. So every time you turn on the car, if your phone is paired to our device wirelessly, the screen will switch over to the CarPlay or Android Auto as soon as you turn on the car and as soon as the phone connects to our system. So let me show you how all that stuff works. So let's get inside the car. All right guys, so after you install our S-Connect kit, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure your phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth, whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone, it doesn't matter. It needs to be connected to the car's Bluetooth because all the audio is gonna get pushed through the car's Bluetooth system. So let's first go to menu and let's add our phone. And let's add my phone, go into your Bluetooth. I'm gonna go all the way down to other devices and it'll probably, okay, show hands-free, Lexus IS, that's the correct one. Because it's not my phone, I am not going to sync my favorites and contacts. Okay, so once your phone is connected to the car's Bluetooth, go ahead and push and hold the map button. That'll take you to this three icon screen. This three icon screen is what you see when nothing is connected. We're going to do our first initial connection. Go to settings on your phone, general, and then CarPlay. Then here it is, NV17W dash. And you're gonna have your own pair of letters and numbers. So when you're connecting to CarPlay wirelessly, it's very important you do it through this CarPlay menu. Do not do it, do not try to connect wirelessly through the Bluetooth menu or the Wi-Fi menu. Always only connect through the CarPlay menu. That's because a certain order of operation needs to take place. If you try to connect directly from Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, then, then the correct order of operation sometimes does not work properly. So you wanna make sure to do it in CarPlay menu. Okay, and once you're here, the function is all the same. The cursor did change into like a pink dot here, push down, you could drag around. You can also go to the map screen. You can drag around and move around like so, okay. And then make a phone call here, okay. And as you can tell from the screen, it's using the car's Bluetooth system. And at the same time, you can utilize the car's steering wheel controls to pick up and hang up the phone call. So we'll press this to hang up the phone. And then we will call back using my other phone. Okay, so it looks like this, and you could pick up using your steering wheel control. Also, the volume up and down works while you're playing some music. So let me play some music. Okay. You just don't see the number change, but it is changing. Okay, and then the track up and track down also works. And this track up and down also works as well. Okay, you can also pause and play music through here. And on top of that, you can also utilize this track up and down as well. Okay, and then this works as a back button. The menu button will summon Siri. And then pressing the map button will take you back to the native factory screen. And pushing it and holding it again to map will take you back into the CarPlay screen. Okay, and then let me show you how the Siri works and how the volume control works as well. Okay, so if you press map, what's the weather? All right, so that is, um, so that's Siri. And you can actually control volume from your phone as well. So we're listening to music by adjusting the volume on the phone. Also adjust the music audio from the car, okay? And at the same time, when you summon Siri, you can also adjust the Siri volume as well. So let me give you an example. What's the weather? Okay, it's very, very quiet, right? 
So how do you adjust that? Press and hold the side button, summon Siri, and then increase. This is your Siri volume right there. Okay. What's the weather? Okay, hey, there it is. So basically what we did was uh, we matched the music volume to Siri volume. And let me show you how everything works from the beginning. So we're gonna lock our phone. Let's turn off the car. Okay, and then let's turn on the car. Okay, and because the phone is already paired to the S-Connect system, when we turn on the car, the S-Connect system also boots up, connects with your phone wirelessly, and then the screen will switch over to the CarPlay screen automatically. And as you notice right now, the CarPlay screen shows up first, and then you'll hear the music audio a little bit later. That is because our S-Connect system actually connects much faster and loads much faster than the time it takes for the phone to connect to the car's Bluetooth. So because of that, um, you'll hear the audio a little bit later, and when you hear the audio, that confirms that, that the phone is also connected to the car Bluetooth. So sometimes we have customers saying that they don't hear audio, you know, just give it a few more seconds and the audio will come. All right, and then let me show you how to connect the Android Auto. So if you wanna switch over the phone, you wanna make sure the second phone is also paired to the car's Bluetooth. So we're gonna push and hold the map button, take you back to the native Lexus screen. From the native screen, go to the Go to menu and then go to setup and then go to Bluetooth. All right. Okay, so from here, let's add another phone. So we're gonna add our second phone here. Okay, go ahead and disconnect from your other device. Go to your Bluetooth settings in your Android. I'm going to deny the contacts and the messages because it's not our car. So, all right, so it is connected now. I could hear the audio. So confirm that your phone is connected. Once again, push and hold the map button. Okay, we, all, we still see the CarPlay screen because this iPhone is still connected to the S-Connect system wirelessly. So we're gonna disconnect this phone. So to disconnect your iPhone from the device wirelessly, you actually do have to go back into the settings menu and then turn off your Wi-Fi and then also your Bluetooth, which will completely disconnect your phone from the car and also from this CarPlay from our S-Connect and go to the phone that you want to connect to. And let's first get it set up. So for the Android, all you have to do is from the Bluetooth menu, connect to the MV17W. It's less complicated than the iPhone. Okay, and there it is. And all the functions are the same. All the controls track up and down, back button, menu will summon Google Assistant, and pressing and holding the map button will take you in and out of the CarPlay or the Android Auto screen. And also when you turn off the car and turn it back on, right when your phone connects to the S-Connect system, the screen will switch over to the Android Auto screen automatically. Top of that, track up and down works, volume also works, um, phone pick up and hang up. And for both systems, it doesn't matter, CarPlay or Android Auto, your factory backup camera will continue to function. When you put the car back to reverse, you bring it back to parking or drive, then it goes back to the Android Auto or the CarPlay screen. All right, and next, let me show you guys how to switch between the two phones, right? So first, you want to turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from the menu. Okay, so this disconnects the audio from the car's Bluetooth. Also disconnects the wireless Android Auto. Okay, and then go to your iPhone. Let's turn on Bluetooth and let's also turn on Wi-Fi. And sometimes once you turn those two devices back on, the phone will automatically connect to the CarPlay and also to the car's Bluetooth. If it doesn't, then let me show you how to, how to do it. Let me show you how to reconnect. So you want to first go back to your native screen and then go back to and then let's just go to your media okay it says bluetooth audio not connected so let's connect this this is our phone here iphone 12 oh 12 pro max ultra or pro pro max okay once that's connected okay you could go back to the carplay screen press and hold the map 
And then on the iPhone, go to General, go to CarPlay, find your MV17W, and basically you can just refresh it by turning it off and turning it back on. And that will also bring you back to CarPlay. And when you do this, you can press and hold the map button and switch over to screen CarPlay, or you could leave it in the factory system and then it will automatically switch over when your phone makes that connection. All right, and once again, if you want to switch it back to your second phone, you will go and turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Okay, and then on the phone you want to connect, you will turn on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Okay, and then on your Bluetooth menu item, go ahead and connect to the Android Auto. All right, there it is. And don't forget to connect your Bluetooth from your car to your phone as well. And next time you come in the car, the device will automatically connect to the last connected device as a priority. And if that priority phone is not there, it will connect to the secondary phone automatically. All right, and then alternatively, if you wanna go to the standard wired way, you definitely can use the wired solution as well. So you can unpair the wireless connection, you could connect wire, and then same thing, CarPlay and Android Auto will show up on the screen, depending on what, um, depending on what phone you connect to the device. All right, and then I wanna go over one more thing that we get asked pretty frequently, which is, can I use satellite radio while using CarPlay or Android Auto? And the answer is yes. So what you can do is go back to your native screen, change your media to satellite radio, go to your source, pick your satellite, and then you can, you can press in, you can go back to the screen. Everything will work normally. The only thing is you won't hear Siri, Google Assistant, or turn-by-turn -turn directions. If you have an iPhone, Siri does partially work and turn by turn direction does partially work. You just won't hear the first few words that is said for the turn by turn direction if you are using Apple Maps. If you're not using Apple Maps, if you're using like Google Maps or Waze, unfortunately you won't hear the turn by turn directions. The best way to go about that is download the satellite radio app on your phone. Whether you have an Android Auto or an iPhone, whether you have an Android phone or an iPhone, download the satellite radio app then you can listen to all your satellite radio station on the app itself and it'll run through the car's Bluetooth system. For some people who's very into good quality audio music, you also can connect your phone directly to the car's USB if you have an iPhone and then your phone will go into what's called an iPod mode and it'll show as an iPod source and you can definitely use that as another audio source while using CarPlay. Unfortunately, it won't work with an Android phone because um, the phone, the, because the car doesn't detect the media device. So for example, let me show you. So if I connect it like this, if you go to source, right here, iPhone 1. And you can use the CarPlay system while the audio comes through the USB. Okay, you can definitely do that for better quality audio. The only challenge is this, when you're in the CarPlay screen and then say that you unplug your phone, the phone will, the audio will go to off. So if all of a sudden your audio turns off after you unplug, but you still see the CarPlay screen, note that the car, the factory audio system has turned off right when you unplug this. So that's something that you need to be aware of if you're gonna use the direct connection method. All right guys, well that concludes our video. We went ahead and showed you how the functionality works with the audio to Bluetooth and auto switching to the CarPlay or our Android auto screen. And these are very subtle differences from our very old kit, but man, it makes a really big difference when it comes to the operation of this device because now all you have to do is go inside your car, 
put it on the car, everything is automatic. Your screen will switch over automatically to CarPlay or Android Auto screen. At the same time, you don't have to fiddle around with two sources. So it just makes it a very easy, very factory-like experience. And on top of that, you know, let me also remind you guys that this product is approved by Lexus USA. You can purchase it from your local Lexus dealerships. On top of that, you can also get it installed at select Lexus dealership across the U.S. And guys, this video only showed you how to operate the system. If you want to see how it installs or what the kit entails and all the components and things that are included in the kit, please reference to the other videos. We'll go ahead and leave that link below. And on top of that, if you want to check out our other installation videos as well, That'll be very, very helpful for all you DIYers. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If there is any content that you would like to see from my channel, please leave a comment below. Give us some suggestions. We are very, very happy to accommodate you guys and be able to provide some content that you guys would want. And on top of that, if you haven't yet, help our channel by giving us that big thumbs up and also subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.